Nashukuru Mungu sana kwamba siku nyingine ametupatia nafasi ili tuweze tena kukuletea ujumbe wetu wa siku ya leo. Pia nashukuru sana kwa sababu sio kama siku zingine ambazo zimepita wakati makanisa yalikuwa yamefungwa. Leo nina furaha pia kukuarika kwenye kanisa letu. Uh, siku ya kesho tutakuwa na ibada ya kwanza kuanzia saa moja kamili hadi hapo saa ya asubuhi na ibada ya pili ambayo itaanza mwendo wa saa tano hadi hapo saa saba. na pia siku ya Jumapili tutakuwa na ibada ya kuanzia saa mbili asubuhi hadi hapo saa saba. kwa hiyo nende kualika uweze kujiunga nasi kwenye ibada zetu na ile ibada ya uponyaji ambayo inakuja kila siku ya Jumatano kuanzia saa tatu asubuhi hadi hapo saa saba. Najua kuna mambo ambayo yanafanyika ambayo watu wengine waelewi kama vile uponyaji na ukombozi. Kweli mimi mwenyewe ni shahidi ya watu ambao wamepona, nimewaona wengi wameponywa na Mungu. Wengine wamekombolewa na ili swala la kukombolewa wengine waelewi. Kukombolewa ni ni kule kuwa separated na mapepo na vitu za kishetani ambavyo mara nyingi zinakuja kutafuta maisha yako. Kwa hiyo Mungu ametupatia nehema ya kuweza kuwakomboa watu wake. Na hata kwenye maubiri ambayo unakwenda kuyatazama siku ya leo ni kuhusu ukombozi. Kuna vitu katika maisha vinakufanya unakuta mambo yako hayaendi vile yanatakiwa kuwa. Masuala fulani unakuta yamesimama. Mambo fulani katika maisha hata uchenzi unaanza kujenga hauwezi ukamaliza. Watu wanaanza project fulani mara wanauua. Mambo kama hayo unakuta yanasababishwa na mapepo na wakati mwingine yakiwa kwenye maisha yako hautajagundua mpaka tutakapo kupatia ufunuo. Kwa hiyo pia ninakualika siku ya leo kwenye ujumbe ambao unakuja kwako usikilize kwa makini na utazame hadi mwisho utaelewa na kujua kasoro ambayo shetani anaifanya kwa maisha ya watu na chinzi ambavyo Mungu ametuandaa kama vyombo vya kuweza kuwakomboa na kuwanusuru watu wake. Kwa hiyo ninakualika tuende kanisani uweze kubarikiwa. Amen. Ni wazi na ni kweli kwamba inampendeza Mungu wakati watoto wake wana wana succeed. wakati maisha yako yanakuwa mazuri inampendeza Mungu. Mungu apendezwi na kuona maisha yako yakichafuka. God does not rejoice when he sees his people his young children live in problems. It doesn't make God happy to see you in the trouble. In a few minutes I will begin praying for those who came for prayer. Wale nilio andika, niliwasikiliza. Let's 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 do something from the book of Psalms chapter 50 verse 15. Psalm chapter 50 verse 15 the bible says and they call upon me in the day of trouble i will deliver you and you will honor me psalm 46 verse 1 psalm 46 verse 1 blessed is he god is our refuge and our strength and ever present help in trouble god is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble chapter 50 verse 15 and they call upon me in the day of trouble i will deliver you and you will honor me. Are you still looking for it? Psalm 46 verse 1. Psalm 50 verse 15. Ni teni. Mtakapa pata shida. Au siku ya matatizo. Nami nitaitika. Now. Anayezungumza hapo ni mungu. Na anayezungumziwa ni mwanadamu. Anayezungumza hana matatizo wala hakuna siku ataingia kwa matatizo. Anayezungumziwa iko siku anachikuta kwenye matatizo. Halo. Muna bahati kuwa na Mungu ambaye awezi kujipata kwenye matata. 
miungu mingine inachipata kwenye matatizo ipo miungu inakufa lakini Mungu wenu hafi mna bahati kwamba Mungu wenu mnayemwamini hafi kuna siku kuna siku ile semekana eti amekufa lakini kumbe alikuwa ameingia kaburini kukuondoa kwenye mauti alipotoka kwenye kaburi akasema mimi ndiye yule niliyekuwa nimekufa na sasa niko hai milele so you are god is alive forever haleluya haleluya kwa niaba yangu salimia mwenzako mwambie mungu wako anaishi milele na ni mungu wa wote wenye mwili na kwa sababu una mwili una bahati Mungu wako anaishi milele. Miungu mingine huwa inakufa. Au inalemewa. Lakini Mungu mnayemwabudu wewe hafi wala halemewi wala hapungukiwi. Mupigie makofi Mungu huyo. Huyo Mungu huyo ndio andiye anayesema maneno haya ni teni siku yako ya matatizo nami nitaitika call me on your day of trouble and i will deliver you bible inasema hole wake awekae tumaini lake kwa mwanadamu because if you put your trust on a person that person will also be in trouble but if you put your trust in this kind of god i'm presenting this afternoon is a god who will never face trouble he will never face challenge now look at me this is the god i have trusted for more than 12 years ever since i knew him every time i'm in trouble there is no single time for the last 12 years that i've ever had a record that my god faced trouble na na kuigwa miaka yose pika sema manya ikomi ne bere ba ononda tebe na na kuigwa report ya yose nganya sawa yose mereti na nya ordo boko eh Emiake yang spi. Can you believe that? Nyasae tana konyo rabokongu for the last 12 years na mama nyethe. Lakini emiake yang si 10 na ebere na abere konyo rabokongu ongonya. Nga kinta mosemelie. I have known him for this while now, but he has never been in trouble. But for the last 12 years I knew another god another person that calls himself god kuna mwingine naye anachiita mungu nimemfahamu kwa miaka hiyo anaitwa shetani there is no single day hajawahi kujipata matatani any time i mention the name of jesus he is in trouble jesus devil in trouble imagine of those people that trusted the devil what might be happening to them as i'm about to mention the name of jesus ah huh? There are people that trust in the name of Satan. They are always in trouble when the name of your father is mentioned. In a few minutes, whatever you know Shetani anawadanganya na waambia nena mfanyie mada mule hivi. Sasa wamekufanyia kitu. Hawajui kama leo tunakwenda kutamka jina la Yesu. And now what will happen? Chochote walichokufanyia wamefanya kwa ujasiri wa china la Shetani wao. Lakini sasa wao pamoja na shetani wao nitakuja kwako leo nitasungumza jina la Yesu and whenever we mention the name of Jesus the devil is always in trouble now if the devil is in trouble what will happen to his agents they will die away so yes so in a few minutes a witch is about to die away blood <laughs> in a few minutes Yes, you may not be happy with my my terminologies, but that's exactly what I am sent to do. I was born to lift up Jesus and to lower Satan. I in this church we have a lowering gear. Do you know a lowering gear? Where we lower Satan by lifting Jesus. Bona Yesu asifiwe. That's what we do here. In other words, who causes trouble among the children of God? Ni nani anayeleta matatizo miongoni mwa watoto wa Mungu? Biblia inasema yule hadui anazunguka kama simba akitafuta ni nani wa kumumaliza. 
Na inasema yeye anapokuja anakuja akiwa na siara ya kufanya mambo matatu. Siara yake lazimi inatekeleza mambo matatu. Uja kwa kuipa, kuua na kuangamiza. That is trouble. Is that trouble or not trouble? So if the devil comes and finds you have, you have met your you are worthy, the intention is to steal. Akikukata akikupata in good earthy, the intention is to destroy. If you cannot uh, allow him to mean, deal with your property, he will kill you. But the reverse is true. The one who delivers us says, okay, I will deliver you and give you life. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo hapa yuko Mungu anasema niiteni siku ile siku utakapopata na matatizo uniite. Uniite nami nitaitika. Hallelujah. Sasa tatizo hilo litaletwa kwako na hadui ya Mungu. Anaitwa shetani. Is the one that will cause the trouble. <laughs> is the one that will cause the trap but you have a friend by the name Jesus he has now said when satan will bring a trap you are free to call me and i will bring trap to satan and deliver you yes. hello yes. how many of you love the devil wangapi hapa mnapenda shetani mpaka tukimletea matatizo mnasikia mmekwasika Wangapi mnataka tumletee matatizo this afternoon? Yeah. Are we in agreement to cause trouble to the devil? Yeah. Let me now try the devil. The devil just wait in a minute. We are going to cause trouble to you. Yeah. How do you bring trouble to the devil? How do you do it? By reversing his work. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Unamletaje shetani matatizo? au matata ni kwa kubadilisha na kugeuza kazi yake. Yaani kama shetani alikuwa ameweka gonjo ndani yako, njia ya rais ya kumletea trap ni kuondoa wa ugonjwa na kumwambia mizigo yako hiyo. Hiyo ndio kazi yetu. Hallelujah. That's how we work, man. That's what we do. Ni kama kama ulikuwa unafika nyumbani unakanyaga kwa geti yako, miwi inaanza kuuma. Ni kutoa kile kitu na kuambia ule mwenye aliweka misigo yenu chukua bana koro mgochi yangu That's how we do it That's how it is done Amen Because you must be delivered from trouble but the trouble causer must be in trouble when you are delivered from trouble The trouble causer And this afternoon we are about to show him dust Hallelujah Eh asiana go siana ko na ko ngia bantu bara mbwa tsi koro ki shetani ebuse Ebi ndo bidia kirege akiregeze tu akirokora. Ari asata beto mwana ta viaru tu abia likisale. You don't understand this. Whatever is closed we open because Jesus said, I now give you power and authority. Whatever you close shall be closed. Whatever you release shall be released. So whatever the devil closed cannot remain closed, but if we close him, he will remain closed. Tunataka kumfunga shetani tufungue maisha ya watu. Amen. Amen. Na jamani shida yangu ni moja tu mbona mumwamini Yesu? Ha? Unaamini anaweza kufanya hicho kitu ninasema? Yes. Wangapi mnaamini kwamba atashindwa? Yes. Wangapi mnaamini kwamba atashindwa? Yes. He has never been defeated. Tell your neighbor. Yes. Mwambie Jesus has never been defeated. Mambia akisema, akisema neno alitarudi alita kabla halijatimiza kabla akisema ndio hakuna atakayekataa yeyote atakayepinga atakuwa anachipinga mwenyewe kwa hiyo kuanzia leo mube Yesu nafasi afanye kitu ambacho hautasahau amen Mungu abariki sana. Thank you. Let me pray for a few people. Let me pray for a few people this afternoon. Please we had agreed that we were to pray, isn't it?
and you have prayed. So it's time for action. It's just, it's just like a, a letter that has been written to completion. And the only part remaining is the part of the seal or the rubber stamp. You have been praying. Have you done personal prayer? So I can now do, I can now present it to you, the other part that is not in your life, for God to change your life. Amen? Amen. So the demons that have been behind your life, what are my people that are in trouble? They know that for sure they are in trouble. Those demons that have been behind your life, they know they have been in trouble. Today I am not going to fight so many, so, so much on those who did not come to see me because there are people I requested to go and come with their spouses. Lakini nataka sasa muamini kwamba jare maambi mekwa mkifanya siku ya matokeo yake ni leo. Tunafanya kupanda kwa njia kubwa na tutaamulisha kwa pamoja na amini kwamba tuko in agreement na joka timingine mapepo wengine wanashikiria wanasema why are you casting us out and this is our friend this is our house we are here to stay but the, if you are in agreement with me that demons are not supposed to stay in your life give me a chance and your life will change forever you i want you to be the number one witness of the things of god what god can do I don't need to be the only one erading everywhere. You can become an erad yourself. You can proclaim through your miracle. We talked more many things. I, I remember every single thing. It's God who makes people pure. I remember every statement that we spoke to with all of you. Dr. Ali, I remember every single thing with your wife and everybody. I remember every single thing. And I told you, niliwambia ni nini kinafaa kuwa. Na hicho ndicho nataka kikuwe sasa. Kwa makubadiano yangu kuna wewe. Amen. Amen. So now you can lift up your hands. Sema buwana Yesu. Ile siku ndiyo hii. Naomba unisaidie. Naomba unisaidie. Chochote ambacho kimepandwa. Na kimenisumbua kwa muda. Nimeamua kushuhudia habari zako kwa kile utakachonifanyia leo Bwana niokoe Amen Thank you Bwana anasema call unto me on the day of trouble and I will answer you my father this woman has been praying and she needs you and therefore I command you leave her go go therefore leave her forever My father, this woman has been praying. And the devil had planned something. I approved it. I approved it. Go. Go. Go from her. You, you, you said that there was something that is still remaining. Mugongo or something. Good. It's over right now. Devil, go. Go from her. This mama, this woman has been healed. You are suffering from which disease? This woman. You are alikuwa na shida gani? Wewe umeponywa, nimeona Mungu ameponya kabisa. Shida ilikuwa gani? Pressure. Ya maana wewe naona wewe umeponywa. Hebu angalia mgongo yako. You can do anything. Check, check. You have been healed. Mungu amekuponya. Amen. Amen. Thank you. If you can give somebody a child, it will be easier for me to pray for you. Stack watoto wani wani my father, I deliver this woman. Now, be delivered. Be set free. Be set free. God, uyu mama amekua kiomba. Na leo, unampa ushuda wake. Pokea. Pokea kwa chino la yes. This woman wants another job, Jesus. And she wants to enjoy her marriage. Right now, together with our husband, I pray for them for a new beginning. As you requested in your prayer, let the devil go away. You receive in Jesus' name.
Thank you. Thank you. It, it, it is done. That's how it is done. You go and enjoy your life. And let God give you an elevation as, as you requested, as it is written. I remember what you requested. But what has been the problem is what I take away. Go. Shut and go. Ah, go. 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 Father, I pray that you answer the prayer of this woman. Today is a new beginning, Mama. Receive an elevation from Jesus. This man made a prayer to have a new beginning in life. And today, it marks a new beginning. A lot of ways have been blocked from this man. Who you doctor in him to work? I'm a Kwamin. I'm a Omba. Leo Pokemon Zombie Doctor. Receive a new beginning. Just put your hand here. Mungu. Mube sawadi kwa chena raesu. Give her what she has been praying for. Go from her. Devil go. Go. You set it. You spirit of infirmity. Loser is ancestral curse. Just put your hands here. My father, this is your daughter. May you have a new beginning. May you have a wonderful beginning. Thank you for the prayer. God had you pray in the tears of your heart. Now you are being set free and receiving your prayer. Wakakufunga. Leo unafunguliwa. Unafunguliwa. Iyo tunaichua. Aha. Nakari hapa. Hey, watch. Look here. Demons. Lose our life. Tome shak. Toka kwa biko. Toka. Go. Go. This the demons. They follow this woman all the way from Kambara. God set her free. Set her free. Masaibu ya misimu ya watu wali okufa. Mwachirie. Achirie mashake. Wee. Achia. Go. Go. She must be free. Trump has been following her all the days of her life. Without parents. Thank you. May our vision come again. My father, this woman requested for healing. And today, in Jesus' name, I minister healing to you. Complete healing. Those spirits that torment you every night. Did you pray against them? Now I reach the anointing in my life that will break the curse and the altar Matabau, toka, shika moto, kwenda, kwenda kabish, niangariye, na toa kwanza yoro ya asira, na ikamata, na iteka nyara, na maro zingine zote sa kufanya kazi kwa me, toka, toka kwa yaduka, toka, wewe, 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 you can't fight, bring her here, bring her here, bring her here, Whoa, bring her here. Who are you fighting? Who are you fighting? Roho ya Ashira. Nina kujua. Toka kwa yoduka. Toka. Toa mizuko yako. Toa. Toka kwa mama. Toka kwa mwaka. Iyo kitu uliweka. Naichukua. Enda. In Jesus name. Go. My 
My father, I set this man free and victory. Mikono yake ibarikiwe. Iyo kitu indio inaishikia indio hiyo. Toka. Toka na kutoka kwa ngufu. Kwa chino la Yesu. Yeah, please move that way. I speak a new beginning for this family. And I speak prosperity and the grace of abundance to you and your wife in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody help him to stand. But where you are, it's okay. It's okay. Are you, uh, Angaria, did you pray for that? Let's talk. I'm not talking to the demons. I'm talking to you. Did we pray? Yes. You prayed over those issues and the issue of land. Yes. Are you sure? So are you now ready? Go, no war. No, leave her. Go from our life. Yes. Father, we thank you. I set this woman free. Right now, in Jesus' name. Did we talk? When was that? Last week. Miangaria. Iyo nyoka ikuati. Nyoka nenda. Nenda ni mekuona. Muondoke. Mutoke yo mama. Go out of this place. Go. Mutoke. I command you by the anointing of God. Go. Look up. Come here. Come here, devil. Come here. Toka kwa migu. Toka nyoka. Toka. Yo migu. Thank you. Na kama ni likuambia nita kwa anointi mikono, ukumbuke tukimarisa, I anoint you. Thank you, Lord. I set this guy free. Jesus is Lord. Thank you. Thank you. She's free. Your God is now free. She will go to school. And let those do we just not try again. Put your hand here. Kimbia, migu yako imeponywa. Auta uwa tena. Wee, kimbia, wee, mini mtoto. Yeah, you are healed. My wife, where's my wife? Put your hand on the, this woman. Father, I speak a blessing and a new beginning for this mama. I speak a fruit of the womb from this hour in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Be here. Mungu aliahidi kukuponya na uponywe kwa chini la Yesu. Look at me. Your spirit. Look at me here. Leave this woman. Leave now. Go. Your spirit. Go from her. Under your leadership, sir. We are blessed. Thank you for this divine opportunity to come. And before I forget, because when we enter deeper, I may not have a chance to say this. Please receive greetings and warm greetings from my dear family. We all know that there is a lockdown, but when God instructs, he makes a way. And that is the reason why we are here tonight and today just to glorify his name. Hallelujah. We appreciate you, men of God and women of God, for this noble task. Can we appreciate our, appreciate our papa and mama in the house once again for the great grace? We love you, men of God. We honor the deepest of God in your heart. Amen. Icho kwari ye, Icho kwari mwari mwari po, Icho kwari ye, Icho kwari mwari mwari po, Icho kwari mwari mwari po, Icho kwari mwari mwari po, Icho kwari ye.
Navigator. 